Okay, I've had a lot of people that have asked me about layers and masking, so I thought I'd put together a fairly low-tech demonstration of the basic principles. Uh, after I get done with this low-tech demonstration, I'll go into uh, Photoshop and I'll show you kind of how these principles still translate directly into a piece of software like Photoshop or even After Effects, uh, Vegas, whatever, whatever software you use that uses layers. So here we have four basic layers. We have layer one, which we're gonna call grass, layer two, which we're gonna call cloud, layer three, which is our sun, and layer four, which is our uh, sky. The very first thing we're gonna decide, or I'm gonna decide, is that layer four is gonna be our background layer. Layer three is gonna sit on top of our background layer Layer two is gonna sit on top of our layer three layer, and then layer one is gonna be our very first layer. Now here's where masking comes in. To be able to see any of the layers underneath, I have to get rid of this information up here. So all this information here on layer one, I need to get rid of. So I'm gonna go ahead and in this demonstration, pull out my handy masking tool and mask that out. Okay, so that's done. Now we're rid of this information. We're just gonna put that off to the side. And so now, we need to do the same thing with our cloud layer. On our cloud layer, we don't want any of this information. All we want is the cloud. So all this information here is information that we don't want. Remember that this is still layer one. This is layer two. Two. So, masking tools again. Okay. So now we have our little layer two cloud layer, right? And we have our layer one. Now if we put that on our ba background layer, so we're just taking away layer four or layer three really fast. Cloud's hard to pick up. You can see we have ourselves a nice little picture going on here. Right, each layer is contributing to part of this picture. Our grass layer, our layer two for our cloud, and our layer four for our sky. So let's take care of our layer three, which is our sun. And we're going to go ahead and mask that out. Okay, so we're done with our layer three, our sun layer. Now with our layer three, we can put it here if we want. But the benefit of layers is that I can now move layer three under certain layers. So layer one is on the top of layer three. So I could take layer one, three and move it underneath. So now we have a little picture of a sunrise. Layer two is also on top of layer three. So now I can move layer three over and move it underneath layer two, like that. Now nothing can move underneath layer four because layer four is on our very bottom layer. So that's a basic principles of how it works with construction <laughs> paper. So let me go ahead and take you into Photoshop and show you how it's gonna look in a slightly more advanced uh, editor. Okay, welcome back. I went ahead and brought our layers that we were working with into Photoshop. I did wanna remind you guys that the concepts I'm showing you will work cross-platform and cross-program. As long as you're able to do layers and masking, the only thing that's gonna change is the tools that you're using to accomplish this. So let's go ahead and start. So you can see here, I've gone ahead and set up my layers in the same way that I the same order that I had them before. Grass layer is first, cloud layer is second, sun layer is third, and sky layer is our background layer or number layer four. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is we need to crop out this information here. So all this information here is the information that we don't want, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go into my tool in Photoshop and do that. <clears throat> okay, 
So the, it, it's important when you're doing your mask, and you notice me going back and changing some stuff. That the the better that you, the better job that you do, um, the better everything is going to look. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is you can see with the tool I I use everything that was painted blue is stuff that I wanted to save, and so it's gone ahead and highlighted everything I don't want. I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and you can see everything kind of shining through it. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is our cloud. Our cloud up here somewhere. You remember that we wanted to uh, get this out. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and mask that out. Okay, again with the particular tool I'm using, click the button and everything that, that I painted blue um, is what I want to save. So I hit delete and I have my little cloud. So you can see the concepts working the same. Put the cloud behind the thing. Now let's do our sun. Okay. So again, if we click our button, only the sun ends up staying. So now when we put everything together, we have all four of our layers. You can see I can take the cloud layer, I can move it behind the hill, and I can move it in front of the sun because it's layer two. The sun layer can only move behind the cloud and can also move behind the hill, anywhere I want to put it. The sky layer just stays where it is, and the grass layer, again, I'm just having to stay where it is. Um, but if I was to move it, you can see it it moves in front of everything because it's the very first layer. So that's uh, pretty much how you do layers and all the, like I said, all the different programs that use it, use it exactly the same. Um, it's just your tools that end up changing. Sorry. Uh, it's just your tools that end up changing. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.